Hey guys, Carolyn here. Today I'm doing a light stick collection, something I really never thought I was going to be doing on this channel. Um, but I asked you guys on Instagram and on Twitter the other day if you wanted me to uh, do a light stick collection video because I have accumulated quite a bit of light sticks in 2019 um, and you guys all were for it. So let's do it. <laughs> um, like I said, I don't have a billion light sticks. There are definitely people out there who have way more light sticks than I do. Um, I don't collect a lot of light sticks outside of groups that I see in concert um, or my ultimates. Um, so yes, just know that going into this video, but um, I am starting to see more groups in concert, especially because there's a lot more groups that are coming to the U.S. And um, so, yeah, we are going to go ahead and get started. I Maybe I'll go in like order of when I got these because I'm going to um, show you B-roll of them lit up. Um, but I don't want to do that right now because it's super sunny out. I want to just show you the light stick. So I'll do some B-roll. I'll film it tonight of the light stick actually on and working. Um, so you guys can see how it looks when the battery is in and how it would look like at a concert. So yes, the first light stick that I ever got for myself was the infinite, um, first, version light stick my yobong so i absolutely love this light stick i had to buy it because i was seeing infinite in person and it was literally one of the best days of my life like to this day still one of the best concerts i've ever been to because yes i freaking love infinite so much they are one of my ultimates and um obviously and since then really like i saw infinite and then they had maybe one more comeback as seven one or two more comebacks as seven and then hoya left and they all started enlisting and everything so really this is like such a special concert um for me and i'm really sad that i didn't actually vlog it i wasn't really vlogging concerts back then i did make a video talking about it so maybe i'll link that but yeah, it says infinite on the side here and then this is the strap this is an old k-pop light stick it does not have bluetooth capabilities it is just here to have a great time so yes i love my yobong it's literally so dirty and just like has seen better days but i freaking love it so the next one i think i got was I went and I got Monster X's um, Mondungi. That's what their light stick is called. This is their first version of light stick. I keep it in the box just because it's just easier to store that way. A lot of my light sticks I keep in the box. Yes, there's a couple of them that I don't, but most of them I do. This is what Mondungi version one looks like. Um, it says Monster X on the side there. And then the little button has the old Monster X symbol on it and this is the top of it. A lot of people really prefer this light stick to the new version. And I'll discuss that when I get to the second version. Because spoiler alert, I also have that. Um, I used this the first time and the second time that I saw Monster X in concert. Um, because they've been on three world tours to the US at this point. Um, not including like Jingle Ball and everything. But I have seen them every single year that they've come to the US on a Monster X world tour. So I'm hoping that that continues in 2020 freaking love Monster X concerts. If you've never seen Monster X in concert, it's literally like, I can't even tell you, my Apple Watch will tell you that I burn so many calories on Monster X concerts because it's literally just like a dance party, like the entire time. It's so fun. Looks like, um, I'll go ahead and throw that B-roll up right now. Um, I don't remember, I don't think this one has a Bluetooth capability. This was also before, like all of that was a thing. But yes, I like my Mondungi a lot. So the next light stick that I bought after that, which is, I believe, Super Junior. So Super Junior, these are all three of my male ultimates, by the way. Um, Super Junior finally got a light stick. They've literally been a group for like 14 years and SM finally gave them a light stick last year. So yeah, um, could have gotten one sooner, but you know, whatever. They've had plenty of like concert specific light sticks but this is their first light stick that is like their light stick so um this is the box that it comes in i really like the box that this comes in this is what it looks like it's so freaking funny i think this is so funny the strap is um plastic instead of cloth like you will see a lot of the sm ones that i have are like this yeah i'll go ahead and throw up the b-roll this is actually probably my fave one of my favorite light sticks like mode wise freaking funny i just i don't know i really like the modes for this one but 
yeah, um, we have that there. This is what the button looks like. Pretty simple, but I like that it's like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a superhero thing. So have not used this one in a concert yet. We are hopeful someday SM, someday Super Junior will remember that the US exists because every other SM group knows they exist, but Super Junior does not know the US exists for some reason. The next one I got, it's probably my most unique light stick, I would say. It is my A Pink light stick. They are my female ultimates and this is their version two. I don't own their version one. Yes, the last time A Pink were in the US for like a real tour, I did not see them and I regret it literally every day. So yes, this is my most unique light stick. I think it is so cute. I freaking love A Pink's light stick. Um, this is the strap that it comes with. Um, and then this is the other side. It's sparkly and says a pink in the middle. And then there's a little panda for the button. But yeah, it's super, super cute. Like I said, I have not used this in a concert and I really don't know if I ever will, but I really hope a miracle happens and I get to use it because I would love to see a pink in concert. They're so freaking cute and I've stand them for literally so long. And I don't know, the fact that I haven't seen Super Junior or a pink in concert just like makes me really sad. I think about it all the time. I'll go ahead and throw the b-roll up of the settings for this. I think the settings for this are pretty cute. Um, I don't know how well this would work in like the eyes would show through in a concert setting, um, but I feel like I haven't turned this one on in a while. I feel like it would work pretty well, but I also don't know if it would look like cute or if it would look like low-key demonic. I'm not sure. If I ever find their version one for a good price, I may just get it just for collection purposes. Super happy to have a version two. It also came with a set of photo cards, which I wish more companies did photo cards with light sticks because I think that it's just a smart idea to get people like me to buy light sticks because if you know anything about me, I love me a good photo card set. So, oh man, what did I even buy next after this? I'm not sure. I think it's this one. So the next one, the next light stick that I have bought is a Monster X's Mondungi version two. So this is the box that comes in. They changed their logo. Um, that's the Mon Bebe logo, but this is the new Monster X logo. So yes, um, I'm not sure how I feel about the logo still. I really like their old logo, but I, I've gotten used to this one, so I think I'm just like nostalgic. But this is what version two looks like. I used this when I saw Monstex in LA this past year and it was a great time, but I'm so happy I had this. Um, this does have Bluetooth capabilities. Um, so does the SJ one, I forgot to mention that. I'm not sure about A-Pink, but yes, this is what the version two looks like. I like the version two. I think it's really pretty. Um, I liked it a lot during the concert because it was a lot of white light as opposed to like the purple light. And so I just felt like it was a lot brighter um than the version one but so that's my experience of using both in a concert this is the strap and like i said it has bluetooth capabilities i think it's super pretty and i had a great time with this light stick and i wonder i was thinking about this the other day because they announced their 2020 tour like unofficially like the members talked about it at jingle ball how they're coming back here for their 2020 tour which is not surprising considering they're releasing a whole album <laughs> in english in february i don't know if they'll release a new light stick before then i feel like Starship is the kind of company who definitely would release a new light stick, so if they do, I will probably end up buying that as well. But here's the b-roll of all the settings for it. Super pretty. I also feel like this looks like a crown. Like, they both have, like, crowns because we freaking love standing kings. Very happy. This is the light stick I was holding when Wano gave me a finger heart. Pretty much one of the best days of my life. <laughs> oh, and then this is the button. Can't really see it that well. Let's see if I can get it to focus better, but... It's just the new um, Monstex symbol down there. So, okay, I bought a lot of these like at the same time now. So the next one I got was Infinite's version two. Woolen literally released this like maybe a month before Wuyen enlisted. And if you know anything about Infinite, um, Wuyen was the only member left under Woolen Entertainment who's an active member of Infinite. Myungsoo is still around and he's still an Infinite member. He's just not under Woolen Entertainment anymore. So silly, <laughs> but you know me. I'm garbage and I had to buy it. So this is what the version two of the Yobong looks like. It looks literally so different from that. Um, I will just say though, how I love how they still use the Be Mine logo for the button. Like that is Infinite's logo. That's so funny because they've had different logos for literally every single era. 
And then what I really like about this one, which I, I think this is the only light stick I own that does this, is that I haven't put the strap on, but I'll show it to you in a second. It comes with like a wire with a USB that you can plug into the wall to charge it. So you don't actually have to put batteries in it. It just charges like that. Like this one is one of the only ones that's charged because I don't keep batteries in my light sticks. Um, so this is the only one that actually like will turn on. This is also one of my favorite ones setting wise. I think it's super pretty. Um, it has Bluetooth capabilities, but you can also um, get it to be different colors. And also it has like the candle mode and everything. So when this was released, I was like, I was actually at Mons Texas concert in LA when this was announced, but I was like, this is low key ugly, but I've actually really, really grown to like it a lot. So this one, this is the strap. I haven't actually put the strap on my light stick because I don't know. I don't really know why I haven't, but yes. So I have Infinite version two. Will I ever use it? Probably not, but I am happy that I have it. I really enjoy looking at it on my shelf. So, yes. Uh, these next four, I all, I kind of bought all of them at the same time. I'll show you my um my problematic one. I don't know if that's the best word for it, but so I have Super Junior's version two here. I bought it from an official shop. Let's talk about this. It is an official SM item, label SJ official item, but it doesn't work. <laughs> So we're currently in the process of figuring that out, which is why I have not made a video on this light stick. It's really annoying that it doesn't work. I thought it was my batteries. I thought it was like the battery pack. No, it's literally something within the light stick that does not work. So can't actually show you the modes on this, but I really do like the modes on this. I've seen um, like it's shown before the S there's one setting where the S lights up and then the J lights up after. And I think that is so cool. But yes, I can't believe Super Junior released the second light stick like a literally a year later after it taking what 12 years to get an official light stick so i just think that's really funny as i'm not sure what you were doing there but i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with this i contacted the seller and they were like there's nothing we can do for you so i was like okay so <laughs> i just have this um super junior are about to end their tour anyways they're gonna end super show 8 soon without coming to the u.s are we surprised no are we upset? Yes, but I probably will look into getting a new one of these in 2020. I'm not going to rush it right now, but yeah, I'm pretty sad that this doesn't work, but it's very pretty. Yeah, I'm not really sure which one I prefer between the two, but I really just wish it worked. Like, it makes me so sad that it literally doesn't work. I literally was filming an unboxing for this and was not working, and it was so sad. I literally just tried again. I was like, maybe it'll work because I'm filming nope it doesn't work it's so sad saddest day ever light sticks are expensive man and you know a lot of sm light sticks really aren't that bad but this sj one was actually pretty expensive so i'm really upset that it doesn't work and that i can't like get a refund on it it's very weird anyways gonna try to buy a new one they're not really exactly like going out of stock anytime soon but there is one other light stick i want to buy before i buy another sj light stick i know it feels weird to like prioritize that in a weird way but you know put you down there because you don't work so um uh, these other ones i got these two i got like literally the same day so the first one i will show you is i have an nct light stick i bought this when i went to super m in atlanta this past year um i saw a lot of concerts this past year i went to ats too but they had sold out their light stick by the time i made it to the venue i was kind of late to this show to the ats show but they have an official light stick and if i was seeing ats this year i probably would buy it but because i'm not seeing them this year and because version twos of light sticks exist i'm just not going to worry about it um but i would like to see ats again but anyways this is the nct one um, i bought it because i wanted to have an nct light stick or a wavy light stick i would still like to get a wavy light stick because i freaking love wavy i'm literally garbage for wavy <laughs> but um this is the same plastic strap that all the other sm ones i've shown you so far have and i just really think this is a really like funny light stick like it literally looks like a weapon <laughs> i don't know um it looks like you could literally do some damage with this if you hit someone at the concert but i didn't bring it into the venue with me when i saw super m because i forgot it in my car and because i was vi IP, they let me in early and then the security guard told me I wasn't allowed to leave which ended up being a lie so I'm really upset about that but the NCT will tour soon I would literally love to see them in concert 
because I freaking love NCT. So I bought this and I'm still planning on using it in the future when they come back to the US. So yes, or if Super M tours again, I'll bring it that time. So I have my NCT light stick. I also really like how this one and then Infinite's version two have this like foam in it so that you can stand it up. This is how I have it set up like on my NCT shelf it's not really just an nct shelf but um i just have it standing up like that which is super cool the other one i got at super m was obviously the super m light stick which a lot of people were like it's a waste of your money and i was like mm, no i am super happy i have this especially because i did forget to bring my nct one in when i got to the venue and also i feel like super m we don't really know like what the future of this is like if you had told me this time last year that sm would have made a group called super m and like what super m would be made of i would have been very confused um and been like that's definitely not a thing but yeah it has that same like plastic sm strap on it and it has a couple different modes and also has the bluetooth capabilities which was really cool to see all of the different groups that make up super m's light sticks and also this one all like being on bluetooth at the same time super cool was a really neat experience because a lot of people brought multiple light sticks to super m but yeah so i have this one <laughs> it's so funny i think it's a great collector's gift and also i loved seeing super m so honestly if they come back and tour next year i will definitely go see them again because it was a great experience and yeah so i've got this one and then my last light stick that i have currently though i do have plans to buy another one and we'll talk about that afterwards is i have this is low-key the prettiest box i own so i have 17's version 2 of their light stick i really really like 17's version 1 of their light stick and i'm really sad that i don't own it and that it's so hard to find but i am seeing 17 in january confirmed i have a gold vip ticket so i didn't want to look i mean you can you don't have to bring a light stick to a concert but i personally love having light sticks at a concert because it just makes me feel like i don't know it makes me feel like i'm really living my best life but obviously not everyone can buy light sticks and that's okay if you can't but it's just a personal thing but i have their version two their sparkly microphone i got this literally the other day um and i'm so happy that it arrived in time for this video because she's so pretty <laughs> she's so pretty it kind of looks like a child's toy but also it's so pretty like i freaking love it yes so i will go ahead and do the b-roll of this one this also i believe has bluetooth capabilities i'm really excited to use this in january when i see them live i just think it's gonna be a great time but uh, if i could have their version one too someday I freaking love their version one light stick. I think it's literally gorgeous. And I wish I had bought it when it came out. I almost bought it when it came out and then it sold out. Um, and I wasn't planning on seeing them in concert anytime soon, but I'll show you the B-roll of this one. This is a pretty simple settings one. Um, so was the Super M one is pretty simple settings, like the basic settings, but that's okay. We don't need anything too fancy. It's a sparkly microphone. These are all light sticks I have currently. Uh, like I said, I do have plans to buy one more. So at the time of me filming this video, that you'll probably see this video like a few days after I film it, um, it's about a week, a little less than a week away from Stray Kids ticketing sales. And I they're coming to Atlanta on a Friday. And if you don't know, Atlanta is where I attend most of my concerts. I'm going to New Jersey for 17, but Atlanta is where I attend most of my concerts. And I, they're coming on a Friday, which is great because starting in 2020, I changed my work schedule. So I'm actually off every Friday and Saturday because I did that for school, but it also works out very well for concerts. So it was like a win-win situation for me. So I'm really trying to get tickets to see Stray Kids. Um, and if I do go see them, I will definitely get their light stick as well. I'm going to wait until ticketing sales next weekend. If I get, I'm trying for P1 or P2. If I get tickets, then I will get a light stick. If I don't get tickets or I can't get any like really good tickets, I probably won't go and I won't get their light stick, but, um, they just released their light stick. It's really cute. So yeah, I, everything that I have, I think I do want AT's light stick like eventually. Um, I probably will try to get it, like I said, and that is really it for right now, but I'm sure there will be other light sticks, other versions of light sticks. And like I said, I want to get wavies too. That is 
not super high priority for me but it's definitely up there on my priority list yeah thank you so much for watching this video i'm sorry i was super chatty like the entire time in it but um let me know what your light stick collection looks like i literally before this year had maybe four light sticks three or four i just think it's so funny that i've accumulated so many in a year but also i'm going to a lot more concerts so it makes a lot more sense for me to have more light sticks Anyways, yeah, I'm just not someone who collects light sticks just for it. I like to collect light sticks of groups that I'm going to see. And like I said, also my ultimates, I always get their light sticks. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, maybe I'll do an update at the end of 2020 and see what this collection looks like. But otherwise, if you want to see what else I have coming, go ahead and look in the description box down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!